ready what's up folks this is a very hard video to make this is a very hard thing to talk about simply because I'm in the midst of it today if you know me for a while you might have heard me talk about this but I don't try to harp on negative things or my battles and I try to cling on to them too too much because I don't have any need for people to feel sorry for me and I don't feel sorry for myself since we all have stuff that we go through and we all have our little battles and most of the time we have a lot of similarities so we need to talk about these things we need to be open about these things just as a community of people and even though this is a fitness channel technically fitness and I'll repeat it over and over and over again it's everything it's your mind soul spirit your body everything like it's all one so this is something uh, that's called depression and anxiety and today has just been one of those days. Today's been one of those days that I have felt very attacked and I have felt very down. I felt very suffocated and I just didn't want to do anything. Just haven't felt like myself at all. Uh, and I hate feeling like this. And I hate being like this. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that have uh, dealt with this and are dealing with this. Some people, it gets so drastic that you have to like take medicine like, and it gets even way more serious and it gets to like to the point where you have to go to a psychologist or or a psychiatrist and they subscribe you medicine and man I've been down that road earlier in my life when I was middle school kid middle school kid that's when this stuff started rising up because that's when life started getting crazy that first house that first video that I showed you where uh, like when I got taken away from my mom and all that stuff few years prior to that that's when all this depression and all this stuff started really setting in and my life was just getting kind of crazy and I, I stopped going to school for a long time and it wasn't just because um, it wasn't just because I was truant and I was unruly and all these labels that they wanted to put on me it's because I for one would wake up one day and I would just feel suffocated like I couldn't breathe like I couldn't eat like I, all I wanted to do was sleep and the way that I dealt with that is I just isolated myself I cried I wanted to go to school I wanted to be around all the other kids and just be a normal person but I couldn't I couldn't feel normal I'd never felt normal and the way I dealt with that is I would hide in my house and I would get under all my covers and I would just eat and I would eat and eat and eat and I wasn't even hungry I would eat when I'm definitely not hungry and I would just pound that food and I ended up being well well over 350 pounds and that's how some people deal with it because that sugar releases things into your brain that makes you happy just like cocaine just like drugs sugar is a drug folks don't let anybody ever tell you different but it's something that releases happiness into your life if it's good or not it was a fake cover-up and it was something that I had dealt with for a long long time and I still deal with it today it's, it's still hard today to not eat the wrong things when uh, I'm feeling like this it's still hard today to just not feel like this like I don't want to be like this I don't want to isolate myself and have to worry about what everybody else is thinking about me and and, and literally feel hindered from going to the gym yet alone Walmart yet alone my neighbor's house like I just I feel so attacked and I feel suffocated it's just like I feel like something's truly around my neck and just enclosing my lungs and like there's a rock coming down on me and I can't even do anything about it oh. thank God for the gym though thank God for fitness thank God for football thank God for positive outlets 
if I didn't have football in my life, OGK, if I didn't have the gym, the house of iron, or WooFit, or the support of everybody at my church, or just in my world period any any of you watching this video any of you just following me any of you just in my life the loving people surrounding me caring about me just asking me how my day is not having any strings attached to that but just wanting to know how i am and truly meaning it if it wasn't for people like that in it i wouldn't be here right now because when I was, how old was I? I think I was only 14 years old that I tried to commit suicide. I didn't have that. I had my mom and I love my mom. I have my cats and I love my cats. I had dogs then too. But for whatever reason, that just, I, I was believing lies and I didn't think that that was enough. And it's more than enough because there are a lot of people that don't even have that. But looking back at my life, looking back 14 years ago, my gosh, my gosh, have I grown, my gosh, have I grown like physically, spiritually, mentally, everything. And a lot of that is due to the amazing people that God has surrounded me with and that are in my life and that constantly support me and uh, lift me up when I'm down on a day like today, on a day where I just wanna cry, on a day where I just don't want to go to the gym or do anything, but I know that that's the only outlet that I have to release these angry, confused, and depressive emotions that are going through my mind and through my body. <sighs> Folks, you never know what somebody's going through. So be nice, be positive, uplift them, comment nice things on their photos, on their videos. Doesn't matter what you think, or if you think you're being funny, you have truly no idea what they're going through. You have no idea the battles and the struggles that they deal with on a daily basis. They might just be trying to make you laugh. They might be trying to do their best, and that's all that they can do because they're dealing with some real stuff every ounce of the day and they might not be sharing that with you because they might not feel comfortable enough to share that with you and be real but folks we need love we need to love each other and we need to come alongside each other and just be more positive because there's too much hate there's too much negativity out there and there's too much finger pointing and just bad stuff we're we're a people and we all got struggles we all got battles why not come alongside each other and lift each other up when we're down I'm down today. I'm pretty doggone down. I'm still gonna go to the gym. I got some people to train still the rest of this day. And I'm gonna do my best to smile and just have a good day. I'm trying. I know I'm not alive and super, super positive, but I'm just trying to share an aspect of my life with you. That's a struggle and it's not a daily struggle. It just comes like a freaking tornado and just steals your joy away sometimes, but I'm not gonna utter about this any longer. I'm gonna get in this car and I'm gonna go train this boy and then meet up with Sean. So have a good day. Like and subscribe. This is Woo Fit.